Hello, it's Sarah. I got my stamps today, so I'm pretty excited, except for I'm missing one, and I thought I ordered them, but I, I might not have. I'm going to go back on joannes.com. Joann's had 40% off um, their stamps, so a lot of these, these little ones were under $5. So these are the Stampendous kiddos. Most of them are. I did get a couple from Greeting Farm, and... Uh, then I went to AC Moore today, so I'll just share a few things, because I want to make some cards. Um, I showed you her. This is the, her name is Halloween Magic. So I haven't stamped her up yet. I had to go to the grocery store last night, so I didn't uh, stamp her up yet. But I'm looking forward to it. I also needed a couple of Skin Tone Copics, so I had to go find them, and I'm, I didn't do so well. I might have to order refills. Um... So, uh, but she's amazing. Then this one was super cute. Um, I think this one was about, I think it was 10 bucks. I think so. I forget. But they're on sale. They're 40% off. But it was super, the little, they have like samples and stuff. And the way they made the card was just amazing. Like it has a little boy, a little girl, all the little accessories for um, a birthday card. So, I think I'm going to be making a few cards. I, t I told you I have Maya's turning 7 on the 26th of the July, and uh, my neighbor's daughter as well has a party the week before, so I'm going to make them cards. But um, these images are just super cute, and I know everybody loves the greeting farm, and there's lots of little kid images out there, but these are just super cute to me, um, and the price is amazing. So these two I got, it's called... Um, leaf boy and leaf girl kiddo and they're just really cute for like a fall card aren't they and you can put them together so it could be a little bit longer card um then i got the hula girl and she was like under four dollars under four dollars king hula kiddo so she's cute this one's i i had to get this one from amazon they didn't have it and i thought i got the surfer boy and surfer boy and her were going to go together because like he's just holding his surfboard and i just thought that is a super cute card right there a little beachy card but how cute with her and her sandcastle and the seagulls and everything i hope it's not too much glare this one's called boots and <laughs> she's just adorable look at her little belly button so cute um, this is a Halloween one. This is called Pumpkin Kiddo. Um, and she just has her little pumpkin outfit on. So just a cute little card. I don't do a lot of Halloween cards, generally. But I mean, if I, if I did a mini album or, I don't know, any, a tag, I don't know. An ATC, of course. <laughs> so I got the skateboarder, which I love. This is cute for like a boy card. He's adorable. And there's a jump rope kiddo that I want to get. And the two of them would be super cute on something. That's the one. I want to get jump rope and the surfer guy. And then these were the ones you've seen. This one's called ballerina kiddo. And I love her because she has wings, so she's kind of like a fairy. Then I've made, um, this is the kissing kiddos. And this is my Valentine's one that I've used before. I made shaker cards with this. It's so cute. Look at the frog. He's giving her a frog. Then this one I haven't used yet. It's called Toy Maker Kiddo. I'm going to go away. Come back. My battery was blinking and it was distracting me. Here's Toy Maker Kiddo. I haven't used him yet, but I think that would be so cute on Christmas cards and stuff. I have a couple. Oh, I have another Christmassy one I'll show you in a minute. And then here's, this is a little bit bigger one. And I've, I've stamped her up before and colored her. Um, this is called Wagon Kiddo. Look at her little face and her polka dot dress and a little puppy and a kitty. I mean, you could just fussy cut her out on the bike. Like, you don't need the whole image, you know. But then I just, like, um, die cut it on a circle and, and make that, like, your focal image. So here's another couple. This, uh, I got these at um, my local craft store. It's not local, local, but... Um, these were... I made Christmas cards with this one. This is so cute. This is called tree trim kiddos and I like stickled everything up and glittered it up I don't know I might have shown a card of this in previous videos and then this one says merry and magical and it's just a little snowman and this is a very simple Christmas card to make and you just stickle him up because he's just white like you can leave it white and just do your um 
the B, whatever that color B. Oh, Kirby has a, a lid. Um, but this, um, that people love this. When you stop believing in Santa, you get socks and underwear. I had this on the back of a couple of ornaments and they wanted them all, like they were gonna buy them all with that and I'd only had it on a couple of them. So I think you should put that on like everything. People really like that at your craft shows. Um, so yeah, so those are my um, Stampenda stamps. They're amazing. Um, I had seen a beautiful tutorial. Well, I love the card. Um, I'm a, I'm a, Amador, Amadorus, I think his name is. So I subscribed to him. He did a card, and I didn't get her, the one he did. He used um, this size, and she. this one's called Anya Treats, and I just loved it. She's got a box of cupcakes, and it says, you're the frosting on award-winning cupcakes, and every day is a sweet treat with you. So I love those sentiments. And then you have to cut them out, but they're pretty big. See, oh man, there's so much glare. I'm going to turn that off. There's still glare. Um, but that's big. Like, that's as the size of my hand, pretty much. Um, and she's adorable. So I like, I don't know, sometimes the kids, when their eyes are so wide apart, coloring it is tricky because you got to put the cheeks, like, far apart. But these girls are just amazing. So I thought I would try making um, the kids... Um, birthday cards with these girls too and there's no sentiment so you can just add your own sentiment and this is just the Anya collection Miss Anya collection so she's got flowers she's got like shopping bags and just a handbag sorry for the glare there we go I'm looking at the stamp instead of through the camera so I can't wait to use them and then when I was at Mike uh, I went to AC Moore because I don't generally go to AC Moore because Michael's like a mile from me it's not far at all Oh, I also got these at Joann's. They were like under $3, so I needed some more of them for my steampunk thing. Um, but anyway, I went to uh, AC Moore today, and I was looking for Copics. And they, because they don't sell them. Michaels sells them. Um, and I got these two at Michaels. I had to go to Michaels, because I'm, I'm going to try and work with them. That's all they had. Um, but I got this cool st um, punch set. It's two little uh, different banner size things, and I like that. And um, they're little, but I think I might even just write the um, letters in there to spell. Like, so I was thinking for the kids' birthday cards, you could put their name, you could put happy birthday or whatever, but just good to have something different. Um, so I got that, and then I had a 55% off, um, and I've been wanting the ticket punch. Because I think uh, this ticket is a nice size for sentiments and stuff, and it's a nice shape. I don't know. It's so freaking heavy, man. This one's heavy. <laughs> um, I got this paper, this um, AC. I don't know what that is. American Crafts. Okay. Um, but it was just really girly, and it was birthday-ish. So, like I said, I have these birthday cards to make. And I think coloring up these images in these kind of colors. And then these were dollar trims. Or, I'm sorry, ribbon. And so, of course, that matches, so had to pick them up. And I love the pop of black, so I'm going to see if I can add the black to some stuff. I like it. It's just stars, so that's pretty cool. Because I, I just, I don't want to get everything for a dollar. Like, it just because it's a dollar. Like, I want to make sure it's, you know, because I, I don't like buying so much stuff all the time. Like, I'm, I'm getting used to it. But this is cute paper. Very cute. This was half price. Two something. Two something. Um... I've been wanting to, and I got the clocks because I want to try and do um, some paste with that. I don't know why. I just got it. I, you know, whatever. Um, these little letters, because I thought they might fit in here. I don't know. They could. It'll be a little big, but I think they might. But I think I'll probably just end up writing them. And these were something different. Um, they were near the mason, mason jars, but they're like lace stickers says removable stickers but this is like the doilies were like two three dollars if, if that they were under three dollars but this one has corners and doilies and three doilies and there was other ones too there was like birds this one has a bird house and like corner roses and like just swirlies and stuff and I thought well maybe I'll try those on some projects just because they were something I hadn't seen before and then I got buttons of course these aren't 
well, a lot of more officially buttons, but look at this, the beach one with the sand castle, so cute. I can totally do that with the, the kiddo um, beach one, the sand castle. Like just as an embellishment, put the beach ball, put, you know, the bucket, there's a bucket there. But just as an embellishment, I like these little flowers. And these little mice, I just thought would look so cute on like when I do my magical ones, like with the castles and stuff, the little mice with the cheese. And this one, I love this one because it has the colors of by the sea, kind of. It, they're mellow, they're not real kiddish. So I like that. And then what else did I get? I think that's it. And now I have to share some happy mail that Mary Ellen sent me and I'm freaking out really I'm I'm totally freaking out I had put a comment she commented on my ATCs and I said well let's swap you know I said I'm making all these things let's swap and so she made me some ATCs but it was kind of a mix-up because she's like I had said well do you have any graphic 45 papers that are older because I I only started like buying these like a year ago a year and a half ago and I had missed out on so many of the paper lines so I was like if you're if you want to swap swap me some of the papers that I don't have and I'll swap you some of the papers that you don't have so she didn't listen to that part and she just said well I ha I went through my graphic 45 papers and I'm sending you the papers and I was like uh, do you mean you're sending me the ATCs that you made with the papers and then she's like oh no I was sending you the papers so then oh my god anyway look at this little banner because she said she, I'm just like in love with this Mary this is so cute I am so blown away like this is just the utmost of sweetness like look how friggin cute <sighs> so the, she was teasing because she's she was gonna do a pennant for me and my pennant challenge and never did and so that's my pennant banner. I love, 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 love it. And look at these ATCs. So she did end up making me ATCs. And they're adorable. They're freaking adorable. Mary Ellen does not um, do YouTube videos. And she should. Because her the work is amazing. It's quality. It's quality work. It's beautiful. And I love it. And I'm like, I'm blown away. I forget the name of this paper line, but I do not have it, and I love it. The black on white, white on black, I should say. I can't think of the name of it, Mary. You're going to have to tell me the name of that. Um, I can't think of it, but look. I mean, oh my God, look at the little camera. Then this one, I know this is the butterflies from um, the Graphic 45, oh well, obviously, Old Curiosity Shop. And then here's when pigs fly, which is so cute. And we were crack she was cracking up because I made a when pigs fly ATC too. So um, now you guys, the thing is, Mary is so generous and I am she's just blowing me away. She sent me all those trips. Look, here's my pigs. Oh my god. I just love that like they're diff they're different. They're the same, but they're different. Like we just you know everyone's ideas are different and I love that and that's why like I want to trade you guys um, if you have any um, ideas that you want to swap because I'm like I said I'm doing one with Kim on the Tim Holtz stuff but Mary your work is just amazing and I'm not kidding um, I sent you a, a PM so I hope you get that and I love these I, I will cherish these these are going in my folder and oh my god I'm just blown away and then these are the papers like this one is an ABC primer and it's not like the total book thank god don't send like I can't believe she's sending look at this I did not I didn't even know this existed really I mean I guess I have oh my god I love this paper actually like I love this this is so pretty oh my god so so pretty it's practice it's like half a paper pad seriously like I don't know and then this one's called Christmas Emporium I don't know if the date is on these oh 2011 2011 both of these are from because 
I only started doing this stuff in the summer of last April, I think it was, of 13. So you couldn't really get these. Like they they get retired pretty quickly, um, the Graphic 45. So this is Christmas Emporium. And I mean, they've come out with other Christmas ones. Like I have, you know, um, Nutcracker. But like, just amazing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Oh my God, look at these images. <gasps> look at all the cut aparts. Oh my gosh, like for a card, super sweet. Oh my gosh, Mary. Like, I honestly hope you just kept some for yourself and stuff. Like, I really, oh my God, look at these images. Ornaments, oh my God. I'm like, I can't believe it. So anyway, so that's Christmas Emporium. And then this is called, um, Halloween in Wonderland and this I don't know if there's a date 2010 oh my god and then this one's an 11 again so oh my gosh look at that so amazing wow the Mad Hatter Alice in Wonderland um, Halloween oh my gosh look at that so cute. I haven't ever seen these or touched these in person. I mean, if I've ever seen them, they've been on other people's projects on YouTube. And then this one's called Le Cirque. And actually, no, I don't think Le Cirque is, no, this is the circus one. I, mean, I can't remember what this one is. This one was like more about movies and stuff. Um, cinema, who's in Hollywood. Sometimes it says the name of it. Um, on the like different things Paris oh my gosh I love and then look at this little stamp one of a kind art created by Mary Allen I am so in love with these I'm so excited this is awesome and you just went above and beyond again and I'm just I'm so thankful I just I need to send you something so please let me know <sighs> these are gorgeous look at that all right I am <laughs> flicking my camera across the table. Um, all right, you guys. So that was my my stamps, and I will be stamping some of these out and coloring in them up and having some cards to share. I'm pretty sure. All right. So thank you all for watching, and Mary, you're amazing. Bye bye.